everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to give you a brief review on some new oil paint that I bought. And I'm talking about the Olkid oil paint. These are fast drying oil paint. Everything started when I received a commission this week for a new painting that needs to be ready by Christmas as a Christmas present. So I was looking for some paint that dries quite fast so it can be ready uh, for Christmas. And uh, the options were very limited. Or deciding to move to acrylics or just postpone uh, the order. The reason why I haven't decided to move to acrylic is because uh, uh, first of all I'm not quite familiar with acrylic and then there are environmental uh, reasons as well as you know acrylics are made out of uh, plastic ultimately and I don't want my art to uh, inside even more in the plastic pollution the environment so I did some research on the internet and I ultimately found uh, this oil paint which allegedly is gonna dry in 24 hours so I'm going to go through some comparison between uh, this paint and the regular paint and let's see if it's actually true that they dry in 24 hours. As well we will compare some of the properties of this fast dry oil paint versus a regular oil paint and how they behave together. I'm going to use today this little stretched canvas here. It's an artist grade canvas and is what I use generally for my uh, oil paint. So just come over here and we'll go through everything. So I forgot to mention that the brand I decided to use is uh, Winsor & Newton with their Alkyd oil range. And I got here the titanium white, the black, uh, lump black, the permanent yellow and the cerulean blue. Getting started with the Alkyd oil paint is very easy. In fact, many artists already use fast drying mediums like Gumsol or just Alkyd titanium white with their palette so to accelerate and speed up the drying time. I've noticed just that there are a few differences between Alkyd oil paint and the regular oil paint. If you notice here the consistency is much different. Alkyd oil paints are very liquidy, meanwhile regular oil paint are more solid, more creamy if you wish. So because I want to test them, I'm gonna put side by side pure Alkyd oil paints and then mixing them together with the regular oil paints and uh, my regular mediums. I'm layering here a very very small layer of um, white and cerulean blue and I in their purest form and on the other side of the canvas I'm doing the same with a regular paint and you can see how less uh, opaque the regular paint is versus the fast drying paint and how much more consistent is as well the regular paint. The canvas show through much more uh, using the fast drying paint versus the regular oil paint which can be okay if you decide to work on very thin layer but if you work on uh, big material paintings like I do usually you want more coverage as well. I'm now going to try to mix uh, the, the paint so we can see how uh, the two mixes together versus regular paint and as you can see I can't really uh, quite find any fault on this uh, they amalgamate very well and they mix very well as well you can see how the gradient is smooth there is no stop drying and the two uh, pigments do work very well together and then on the other side uh, the regular paint we all know that uh, it's very easy to blend together but still I can't really fault any of them in this case and the comparison of course is pretty pretty close I'm quite happy with that as well I'm going to try now to mix the paint with some uh, linseed oil uh, it's a regular linseed oil that I use uh, generally for my paint and uh, the first thing that I notice is how much easier is to to dilute this fast dry oil paint 
it is a property that I wasn't expecting. Seems like the paint turned into something like a watercolor type of thing. And now you can see how the regular paint is more solid and more difficult to blend, which is in my style a plus. But if you like to work on layers and if you like to work on very thin, uh, thin layer and thin little shadows is probably uh, very good for you and uh, last bit here is to mix uh, regular paint with alkyd oil paint and we will see if uh, the alkyd oil paint actually speed up the drying process when mixed in the purer form with the regular oil paint Overall though, I think the two mixes together very well. I can see how I could use a, a mix of fast drying oil paint versus regular oil paint in my palette. I can't uh, recognize any difference between the two of them. They blend together beautifully and I would be interested in playing a little bit more around with these two, uh, two materials. And I was really interested in knowing that many artists uh, actually use a combination of a fast drying paint with a regular oil paint to speed up the drying process, which is very interesting. I, uh, I didn't know you, can, you could find uh, this use for them. Overall, it's a good experience, they feel very good, and I'm definitely going to try to paint uh, my commission with this paint. It's, uh, it's quite an interesting um, material, it's more probably similar to acrylics than oil, by consistency and by smell as well. They tend to have a little smell of chemical thing that you don't find generally in oil paint but uh, is nothing crazy and didn't give me any headache or anything so overall very good feedback uh, they feel really well and i uh, for sure gonna put them in my palette at some stage so let's now wait for 24 hours and uh, i'll update you on the result i really really put all my hope on this paint for my painting to be ready in time to be shipped for Christmas and I'll see you tomorrow. It's the day after, uh, it's been 24 hours since we painted this. Today I'm going to show you what's the result if this Alkid oil paint actually is fast drying and how it dries and we'll go through a little bit of the property of the paint and what we see. So here is the result and um, if you remember we did here, let me grab a pencil, we did here white, uh, with, this is the fast drying paint and this is the regular paint. This is white, this is the cerulean blue on their pure state and if I run a finger over it's actually completely dry now, both the white and the cerulean blue. I noticed that it's a little bit, and let me try to focus if you can see this, it's a little bit opaque, it dried a little bit opaque, both the white and the cerulean blue. It's not tacky at all, but still it's a little bit opaque. You can see here on the other side of the the canvas, the regular paint, and I'm quite afraid of running my finger over, but yeah, it's still wet. Both the white and I assume the, yeah, the, the blue as well is even wetter. But you can see how much shinier uh, they are already. Down here we have the fast dry paint uh, mixed the white and the blue from the same brand and it's actually all dried up. This is uh, the, the regular one. Interesting enough, this is the fast dry paint that I diluted with uh, regular linseed oil and uh, it's not completely dry yet. You can see here that there are still puddles of paint and you can see how the oil actually produces a sort of film on the top 
of the paint. I don't know if it's the drying agent in the paint or if it's actually the linseed oil. This is the regular paint with the linseed oil. It is actually a puddle of paint. And down here we have the last experiment which was mixing both fast dry paint and regular paint together and let's see what's the result if they are dry or not and uh, they are not. I can tell how where the first dry paint was laid down is completely wet but the more you go into the mixing bit of the paint where the, the fast dry paint mixes with the regular oil paint is getting wetter and wetter. And so what's the result here? Do I like it? Do I don't like it? Don't I like it, it's English. English number one. Well, I feel like for the purpose of uh, the, the fast dryness of the paint, if you use the paint alone, it's very convenient. Dries completely in 24 hours. This painting here, which is made 100% with the fast dry paint, and as you can see, I can run my, my hand over, it's been 24 hours, it's completely dry, so, for the purpose of a fast dry paint, yes, 100%. I really, really uh, think it's a very good compromise. I have to say, though, I am not 100% convinced with the way the paint dries. I'm not really happy with the opacity of the paint. And uh, overall, I still think I'm going to stick to regular oils for uh, regular paintings when I'm required to paint something in a week time, in a few days time, and I need to ship it straight away, yes, 100%, I would definitely recommend Vince Winsor & Newton Griffin Alkyd Oil Paint. I'm really curious to know if there are other type of uh, fast drying paint, so if you know of any other, please leave a comment below, I really want to try more. Also, as usual, you can find me on Etsy, uh, just look out for Irish Farm Art and all my original artworks and some prints are for sales there. You can find me on Instagram at Irish Farm Art, Twitter, Facebook or on my website irishfarmart.com. I really hope you enjoyed this little review. If you did, please share your feedback with me and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week, bye bye!